Alright, what we have here is a 2003 S10 2.2L. And it has been severely, severely abused. Yeah, neglected. So we had a catastrophic failure here, for sure. And that one was going, for sure. And I had a leak right here, because the pump just blowed out on the back side of the supply hose. And then you got one right here as well. That one's leaking. I can't see it right now, but it's it's leaking real bad. Ugh, rust everywhere. And apparently it was uh, blowing oil into the intake. Yeah. So I just got it out. Today is uh, July the 16th. I'm gonna put it on this brand new stand right here. Let's get this light. Shed some light on the subject. I gotta go down tomorrow in the morning and get uh, some bolts to be able to bolt it to the stand. Cause your regular bolts that go into the bell housing don't uh, fit it they're too short so all right this this got to be camshaft crankshaft knocks and i'm not too sure what this one is oil probably all right uh gonna rebuild it gonna tear it down completely and rebuild it and I might as well get a new PCV valve too while I'm at it. I'm uh, buying a whole kit. As long as that block ain't uh, cracked and the head ain't cracked, I'm rebuilding it. Uh, got a new um, ram for my lift. A new one of them. Oh, and this little dude right here hiding in the background. That's free. Yeah, I got a call about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning from this good looking thing telling me I need to come help her. She's on the side of the road. And when I got there, <laughs> she's about 12 miles away. And when I got to her, this is it. They had just tossed it out on the side of the road. And, uh, well, it needed belts, is what it needed, and I already bought belts, put on, put the belts on there. And it was leaking around the carburetor really bad, and the tank was full of water, brush and everything, so I took the carb off and cleaned it real good. And I made a gasket with that gasket making stuff right there. That worked really well. And apparently they had already put a coil on it, you can see that's a brand new coil wire is anyway and uh, I gave it two pulls and she cranked right up and I took it out and I tilled up and down the back over a little bit just to check it out that little bugger works and it's strong I mean it'll take off running it's got forward and reverse on it and uh, reverse doesn't lock in which I'm so sort of glad because if you fell down it just run over you <clears throat> but forward locks in you pull back on the stick and it'll walk backwards with you you're not going to do a lot of walking backwards anyway you're going to go down turn around come back go down turn around come back and that's it but uh, this actually engages the uh, belts and then you pull back and hold tension on it and it'll uh reverse back with you and a tilt the time start reversing backwards because it's got two belts on it uh i had to show that to you one day and this one right here is a drive of course right now it's stopped so i'd have to uh, be rolling it a little bit uh, but you just turn that up and that kicks the drive in on the axle here but the time start turning instantly when you get it cranked up they start moving so
so eight dollars all together so far in there and i'm gonna get a uh, uh a new air cleaner for it and then i'm gonna get a new diaphragm put in right here on a carburetor i think the diaphragm's a little war on it i might have to buy a cap but i'm gonna take that cap off and drill a hole right straight down through it because here's the old o-ring gasket i'll make another one and it's got to have it's uh creates a vacuum on it where it won't pull no more gas so there you have it pretty cool huh and i just got this about a week ago two weeks ago and this is one of the nicer ones right here motor stand and drop the legs down on it and i'll be building that motor and then i'll take that uh diesel that kubota 1505 and put on here and rebuild it but i'm clustered up right now oh my ten dollar pressure washers <laughs> ten bucks a piece and they both work <laughs> yeah i just bought a new hose for this one all right that's pretty cool uh yeah, there you go enjoy my mower boy she just purrs like a little kitten i need a seat but <laughs> i've got a big old pillow and that those two right there and they work just fine uh, there you have it nanny nanny shot spot and all that other good shit oh and i did have to replace the water pump and on the truck big truck yeah bearing in it was going out and as you can tell that's the only way i get that blade off i tried everything in the world while i was on the truck same thing with that one i couldn't get that one off so i'm going to figure out how to get that one off without damaging the pulley because it's a little different than that one probably have to do the same thing and then might have to buy another pulley but that's how it goes all right y'all enjoy peace now there shots bought and all that other good shit bye